Maybe the problem is that you guys are the type of people who believe everything you read on the internet. Because whenever I've ranted, usually frothing at the mouth, about what a terrible connector USB micro B is, I have gotten a lot of pushback from the community defending it. You guys point out words you've read, like that it's rated to 10,000 insertions and extractions, which is 5,000 more than any of the USB mini ports that preceded it, and that it was specifically redesigned to wear out the cable rather than the device so your fancy thousand dollar smartphone doesn't turn into a fancy thousand dollar paperweight. But me, I think that MicroB, especially the USB 3 variant that showed up briefly on Samsung phones, isn't that durable. I think this whole thing is a lie propagated by big USB. I think in the real world, micro B breaks before it's been inserted 10,000 times. And I am gonna blow this thing wide open. Browse privately and securely with TunnelBear, the simple VPN app. Try TunnelBear for free at the link in the video description. Much like the prenatal development of my children, this video has been nine months in the making. Let's just hope it turns out a little better. So in order to conduct my test, I asked Samsung to send me their older portable SSD T1. To which they said, no, so well, first they said, yeah, sure, no problem. Then they said, oh, sorry, we can't do that. So I actually had to buy one of these, and it wasn't that hard to find a brand new one, but I did. Brand new sealed. This is basically a similar idea, but it uses a USB 3 micro B connector. Then, because micro B is actually designed to wear out the cable first, rather than the connector on the device, I wanted to make sure that, in fairness, I was sourcing two brand new cables. So I've got a brand new micro B cable and a brand new Type-C cable. The methodology here is I'm going to take these two SSDs. This one is brand new, never used two, by the way. I'm going to unplug and plug back in, let's say, you know, 50 to 100 times at a time. And then I'm going to check them again and see if they work until one of them dies. So that's how it all started. In August 2016, I set out on the expedition of a lifetime. I began with sets of 50 insertions, making entries in my journal between each set. By the first 100 insertions, both connectors had lost their like-new stiffness. By 250, even ignoring the orientation agnosticism, USB-C's more forgiving positioning and lower mating force were making the repetitions much faster. And by 500, micro B was actually the one that felt closer to its original state, with type C being looser but neither connector was showing any signs of giving up the ghost, and I have to say, the tedium of the journey began to take its toll. Ugh. But I persevered until a thousand insertions. By this stage, USB-C's noticeably looser feel made it a welcome break from the micro B connector that seemed to be grabbing more stickily than ever before, and I began to think that maybe my bad experiences with it had less to do with raw cycle durability and more to do with everyday wear, like sitting plugged in for an extended period or getting wiggled back and forth while being moved around. So with that in mind, and totally not because I just got busy and forgot, the devices sat connected but untouched for six long, hard, throbbing months. But then we hired someone who isn't me to pick up the torch and insert like he'd never inserted before. James still took another three months to get to the big finish, but he gets full marks for creativity. He used the Yahtzee grip, the double hander, and the old pulling a carrot out of the ground technique, logging his observations along the way as well. So by 2,500 insertions, 
Micro B actually needed a little coaxing to get it in there. By 3200, it had actually learned to loosen up and relax for a less frictionful experience. By 4500, Type C's tight fit had noticeably loosened, while Micro B had reached a state of downright slipperiness. By 6,000 insertions, we made the observations that B was more difficult to insert than C, but seemed to be more engaged during the experience, and that the man hours were beginning to make this one of the most expensive videos we had ever made, with no end in sight. A 10,000 insertion rating theoretically means at least 10,000. I mean, it could go to 50,000 for all we know. James begged me to allow him to build a machine to do this for him, but I bravely told him no, because that would remove the imperfect human element of our test. So his journey continued unabated until one day, long after all hope for humanity had drained from his heart, James inserted the micro B for the eight thousandth time and nothing happened. The machine didn't recognize the device anymore. So then, after 8,000 insertions, the USB type C drive is working perfectly with a connection feel that I would actually go as far as to still trust, but the micro B is toast at only 80% of what it was theoretically rated for. And we tried a brand new cable to see if, per the spec, it was actually the cable that died first. The cable is mangled, but still works, leading us to the conclusion then. This is a sample size of one. So apart from knowing the approximate number of insertions, somewhere between 7,900 and 8,000, that it lasted before breaking, it's really not any more meaningful than someone else's anecdotal evidence that their connector failed. We haven't demonstrated conclusively that Micro B is overrated, but I feel like what we have added some strength to is that on top of its reversibility, extra pins for added functionality, and yes, excellent durability, Type C is truly a worthy replacement. Ting is the mobile carrier that's focused on customer service and customer satisfaction. I know, it's crazy. But for real, you call them and you talk directly to a person and the bills are even cheap. You only pay for the data and voice service that you actually use with the average Ting bill coming in at about $23 a month per device. They'll even cover 25% of your cancellation fee if you're stuck in a contract and they have lower mobile data rates than ever at just $10 a gig beyond the first gigabyte. Every single Ting customer will get to reap the benefits of this new change, even existing ones, and if all this sounds too good to be true, well, you can validate it for yourself. Head over to linus.ting.com and try out their savings calculator. Enter your last few bills and how much you're paying, and it'll tell you if Ting will save you money. And if you sign up at our link, you'll also get 25 bucks in service credit or towards a new device. So thanks to Samsung for providing at least one of the drives we used for our testing, actually the surviving one, the other one we had to buy. Thanks to you guys for watching. If you dislike this video, you know what to do. But if you liked it, hit that like button, get subscribed, maybe check out where to buy the stuff we featured. This is Samsung's portable SSD T3 at the link in the video description. Also down there is our uh, merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join.